All right, guys, it is uh, time for the faith walk of the day. So let me tell you something that happens in my house every single day. Zaya is going to flip. She's going to be right side up. Her feet are going to be up near the light switch because she's always doing these flips and these handstands. She even does push-ups on her hands. Like she, and you know, it's, it's cute. And Chris is always saying, get quit flipping on the walls and all this. But what we're noticing is her arms are developing, her little abs are developing and her legs, she's getting leaner because she's just always, she's twirling and flipping all over the house. I need to get her a trampoline in the backyard so she can quit flipping in my house. But what she's actually doing is practicing. And as she practices, she becomes better and better. And then there's my son, who my husband has been buying bass guitars for him since he was mm, maybe five. Well, he's 10 now. And now I hear him upstairs playing Stevie Wonder. He's literally playing. Dun, 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 I'm like, but he's been practicing. And what I want to say to you is Philippians 4 and 9, what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. There are many of us who say what we can't do. Oh, I've never done that before. I can't do that. Well, of course, you're not excellent at it. You haven't practiced and so sometimes it's not about trying to do something. It's about training to do something, preparing your mind, your heart and body to be great at something. Maybe you're not, you don't like the gym. Maybe you don't like getting up to exercise. You got to train yourself to do things that will make you better. No, you can't play the piano. Nobody in your family's ever played. Who cares? You have to practice. And maybe you won't become a virtuoso tomorrow, but give yourself some time. Like a, my son was five when he got the bass. He's 10 now. That's five years. Is he as good as his father? Absolutely not. Is he much better than he was five years ago? Yes, because at any point of the day, I can hear that little boy on the bass, whether I'm looking at TV or on a phone call or taking care of business, so at some point in the day, he's going to be on the bass. Now, we need all of that to rub off on Sister Krista so she can get her piano skills up. So I would not have wasted my money uh, on all these music lessons, but I digress. I'm talking to us, those of us who need to spend more time in the thing that you want to be better at, whether it's planning or disciplining yourself to do certain things. Maybe you need to write a book or start a business or maybe just clean your house. Start structuring and organizing things. Start with one shelf. Start with one cabinet, but practice it. Well, I don't, you know, that's not really my thing. Well, you know, you know, because in my family, I have a million sisters. So it's easy to say, oh, that's more uh, this Google's thing, or that's more Lisa's thing, or that's more T. Well, no, if it's something that can make you better, make an attempt to move in that direction to become better at the things that you usually say, that's not my strength. That's not my thing. And maybe, you know, you won't become a specialist at it, but specialist at it, but you will become better. It said, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. You mean to tell me you're going to ask God to be better and he not going to help you? Yes, he will. Sometimes you struggle with things on purpose because struggling with things makes you pray a little more. Struggling things remind you that God is in control and you're not. Struggling with things sometimes keeps you humble as well. So don't minimize the fact that you struggle in certain areas. Keep pushing and keep practicing to be better. All right. It's called the power of practice. I think I just made that up. Learn to use the power of practice and practicing. 